Welcome back to the memes. That's Frank. I'm not the expert, and today we're playing some more NFL Head Coach. Been a long time. People have been requesting this game again. I love this game, but I gotta be honest, I don't think I'm gonna keep playing it unless I see a ton of support for this game. Only way I'll continue the series is if it gets at least 10,000 likes. Surely you guys can accomplish that, so if you want to see more NFL Head Coach, make sure you hit the like button. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. It's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later. We take a look at the standings again. Unless the Patriots, like, lose out, they're probably gonna win the division. But we still have a chance to make playoffs. We've won five games in a row. Hopefully we can keep that streak alive during this episode. We got the Bills, Texans, Saints, and the Colts, which are a very good team during this era. So honestly, not an easy road for us. Maybe we'll play the Colts game live and see if we can win. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon specializes in premium wireless earbuds at half the price of other earbuds on the market. Co-founded by Ray J and is a favorite of celebrities like Snoop Dogg, J.R. Smith, and Mike Tyson. I love mine because I use mine at the gym while listening to podcasts or just chill and listen to some audiobooks. Look, they fit in here nice and snug. Look at that. They look good. The nice blue. I can shake around and they won't fall out. So that way when I'm having an intense workout, I don't have to worry about them flying across the gym hitting somebody else. Not like that's a common problem or anything, but it won't happen to you. Raycon earbuds come in a wide range of color options and patterns, with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems, so you can find the perfect pair for you. Not only are the Everyday E25s very comfortable, they also have a noise isolating fit. It's got a long battery life of 6 hours of playtime and seamless Bluetooth pairing. What's even better, this little compact carrying case, it can fit in your pocket and this little bad boy can charge your earbuds 4 times over in a single charge. Take advantage of the special offer right now by using my custom link in the description below at buyraycon.com NTE and you'll get 15% off your order from Raycon. Once again, that's buyraycon.com slash NTE in the link in the description below, and you'll get 15% off your order from Raycon. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Like I said, we're going to super sim these first couple of games. If it's a close one in the fourth quarter, we'll jump into the live gameplay. Oh, they got Trent Edwards and Lee Evans. This dude, super fast. They got Marshawn Lynch at running back. Okay, now it's our turn to run the ball. Fullback dive to start the game for the memes. Okay, we're kind of slow on the ball, actually. Let's try and throw it. Pass deflected. Okay, we'll punt it straight back to him. We got a 22-yard dot from Andre Woodson. Let's go. Let's try throwing it on first down. We got sacked. Fantastic. And Andre Woodson's already picked off. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch just drove him down the field. Oh, we got a pick, though. Chris Gamble. We're on the one-yard line. They want to do play action. No way. Mick option. Four-yard loss. Whoopsie. How about drunk driver? Incomplete. Oh, my gosh. We're at the one-yard line. We're about to be held out. Dropped. Do we go for it? Do I have the nads? They, obviously, they want me to take the three. I think you got to take the three in the NFL. I know it's not on brand for me. I'm sorry. So now we get ball. We got a chance to take the lead. Dorian Bryant can't get it again. Gosh, nobody can catch anything. Trent Edwards really just dominating us, isn't he? Okay, 14 and three. We got to turn this around. We got to go by play knowledge. We start, got to start calling master plays to get back in this. Try some Advil. Dropped? How many drops are we going to have? They see me rolling, perhaps? There we go. Okay, they see me rolling is the money play. <laughs> Dropped again. I'm going for it on this fourth down and we get it. Boom, Diedrich Webb, eight yards. Fourth and one. He wants to take the field goal. Mm, I'm going to throw it though. We got the we got the first down. Can we get a touchdown, Andre, perhaps? You got to chuck it in there. Two yard rush. We don't need that. Okay, now we got to take the three. Fourth and 12. That's a little bit more risky than fourth and one. So we just kind of wasted our time there. Field goal, no good. So we wasted our time even more. We might lose this game. You got to be kidding me, guys. Can we get a pick or something? Can the defense turn this around? Or is our five game losing streak going to end here? Marshawn Lynch, 21 yard rush. They got a field goal. We need two touchdowns in nine minutes. Okay, Andre Woodson, Darren McFadden, 26 yards. Let's give him a yeet. A little drunk driver action. A little dink action. A little going out. They see me rolling. Incomplete. Dink. Deflected. Somebody. Bamboozle, perhaps? We're at the one again. Just run it up the gut. Touchdown. Four minutes to go. Time to clutch up. Oh, he missed him. Third down. That'll stop the clock, too. Way to go, Trent Edwards. You bum. But your eyes are really terrifying. We got linebackers in coverage. We got injuries on the field. Guy going across the middle. He's wide open. Will he throw it to him? No, we're going to sack him. There you go. Let's go. Don't even need to burn a timeout. Okay, we got guys open if you see them. And we're holding on to. Let's go. Go underneath. Just take it. Yeah. Tony Gonzalez getting a good good chunk. Is this Mick Option? This is Mick Option, really, at a time like this. What a waste. The offensive coordinator is an idiot. Full send is unlearned. I can't be doing unlearned at a time like this. They see me rolling. This play is money in the simulation ones. We got guys open, and it always gets interceptions in the actual gameplay, and this is going to be a pick six. That's probably going to be the game. 
Come on, Andre. Come on. Freaking devastating. Five game win streak has been snapped at the start of this episode. Zero touchdowns, two picks. McFadden, 20 attempts, 55 yards. He didn't really have a great day either. Cole, seven catches, 82 yards. Does that put us out of playoff contention? I certainly hope not. That would be really bad for my job security if it did. There is a time to start looking at quarterbacks because I'm getting frustrated with Andre, but I don't even know if we can trade him. I'm not sure if anybody else wants him because his production has been really bad. Can't lose two in a row. Gotta beat the Texans. They're pretty poopy. Oh, first carry for Darren McFadden is a touchdown. That's a good sign. But as you see here, they scored pretty quick themselves. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. This will be a high scoring one, maybe. But if we get those long touchdowns from Darren McFadden, that's usually a good sign. I say we run it back. Dude's already got 71 rushing yards on the game. Never mind. Okay, Andre Woodson is actual dog dookie. Darren McFadden's all over this game. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He's already got 88 rushing yards at the end of the first quarter and two touchdowns. Guess who's going to be getting the ball this whole freaking game? Well, they score again. Tim Adrian Joseph getting a touchdown again. All right, second half. We're already down by 10 points. Are we really going to lose back-to-back? -back? Freaking fumble. Andre Woodson is... I got to trade him this offseason. I think I'm committing to that because he is... Oh, I don't even know because, like, does he need a receiver? Because Tony Gonzalez didn't help at all, so I think Tony Gonzalez is going to be gone. It might be just a complete rebuilding opportunity for us. If we don't make playoffs, it's time to rebuild. I know we've tried to develop him over the past couple years, but he's just... He's frustrating me. We can't do anything, bruh. All right, we got the ball back. This would be a major comeback. We can get two touchdowns. It's not over yet. Okay, we're still in this. Touchdown, finally, dude. Andre Woodson, first touchdown of the episode. The defense has got to stop him, though, for us to get a chance. It ain't over yet. Oh, there we go. First and goal. Touchdown. Boom. I was about to lose hope, but winning this game, playoffs will still be alive. If we lose, it's gone. They missed the field goal. Okay, we walk away with a victory. Just barely. Andre Woodson, no interceptions this game. Two touchdowns in the fourth quarter to win it. That's a comeback win. I was losing hope. Darren McFadden, 122 rushing yards. Excellent game today. He also led us in receiving yards with 78 receiving yards. Close one, 28-27. Darren McFadden gets player of the week. Hell yeah. Oh, God, they got Reggie Bush during this time. I forgot. This could be bad. Joe Flacco. I forgot. He already throwing a pick. Okay, classic Joe. On the Saints. It feels weird, doesn't it? I gotta give the glory to Darren McFadden. There he goes. Another TD. Throw another pick our way, Joe. Marquise Colston, Donnie Avery. So he's definitely got targets to throw to. Maybe he's just booty. Never mind. He got a touchdown on this drive. Boom. Another one for him. Two touchdowns for McFadden on the game, and we take the lead back. Can't lose to Joe Flacco. That'd be an embarrassment. Looks like they're going to score on this drive, though. Can they keep him to a field goal? Nope. Reggie Bush. One pass, one pick. Are they going to get another field goal here? Oh, Darren McFadden is just nasty. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. This guy is all over the field. Give me that lead. A freaking fumble. How many turnovers are we going to get? They're trying to give me a stroke. Deuce McAllister is getting touchdowns. Boom. Daedric Webb got the touchdown this time. So they went for two on their last one and they got it. So it's 28-28 right now. 10 minutes to go in the game. This might be one we have to jump into when we get the ball back. If we score here, maybe we won't have to jump into it. Oh, really? We're throwing another pick? Four on the game. Four. That is unbelievable. And we still have a chance in this game. That shows you how good the rest of our team is in comparison. We got the ball back. Three minutes to go. Just run the ball down the field. Don't even let Andre get his paws on it. Eight yard run. <laughs> Do we run it on third down just to troll him? Incomplete pass. Come on, Andre. Boom. Okay. All right. I'm jumping in for this one. Darren McFadden looks really tired. But he's going to hold on to it. He's Gucci. Oh, no, wait. We just hurt Darren McFadden. Oh, no. Bruh. His fatigue is 57. Overall health, 85. His right leg at 69%. Status injured. We got to take him out, of course. His left arm is at 13. We almost killed this man. Surely Diedrich Webb can do okay. Oh, no. That linebacker was untouched. Come on, Andre. Got my hands in the air praying to Jesus that you get this first down on this yeet play. We got injuries, I know. We got always got injuries, it seems like. You gotta send it. Gotta send it. We got a guy coming back to the ball. Fullback run. Oh, we're just gonna get the touchdown. That works too. Sean Holmberg, nice running. Nice, nice, very nice. So Sean Holmberg gets a touchdown, takes the lead here in the fourth quarter with 30 seconds left. I get hype for him, and he doesn't like it. I hate it here. Oh, man. See, look at that. Alexis Cerna might have missed it if we just did a normal kick. So now we just got to hold them out of the end zone for 30 seconds. Is that Flacco at quarterback right now? It does not look like him at all. 
Oh, can we get a deflection on that, please? Or he can just drop it. That's cool. Oh, yikes. They're on the 35 now. This is getting a little bit scary. Worst case scenario, we go to overtime. Oh, no. Tackle him. Oh, God. They got one timeout. Four seconds left. They only got one chance. Come on. Cover up. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. They're getting another chance. That, that was only two seconds. We're going to go cinematic angle. Can Flacco so find somebody? He's just chilling open. Seriously, so we should have just... Yeah, my play clock management was bad. Tried to take the clock down all the way, and it ended up backfiring. We got the touchdown. They get the touchdown as time expires. So we're going to go to overtime, unless he misses this. Not likely, yeah. On to the next quarter. Yeah, I was about to say, he sounds as depressed as me. We thought we did something good, but it was clearly not good enough. Overtime game again. How many overtime games do we end up playing in in this series? It's kind of unbelievable. Give me heads, it's tails. Just run the ball downfield. I know we only got Dietrich Webb back there. We broke Darren McFadden again this year. He hasn't made it through an entire season yet. Drive it all the way down, Dietrich Webb. I believe in you. Nice. Okay, why are we running to the outside on an inside run? You're gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me use Andre Woodson. Get upfield, Mike Peterson. There we go. Oh? Oh? Diedrich Webb getting fancy. That's how you do it. Go, go, go. Yes, he's running north. Mike Peterson's open. Oh, we don't even need him. Oh, we're just going to throw the pick. We got him, though. Sorry, I'm switching so many camera angles. I couldn't even see it. Come on, Andre. That's five interceptions this game. Andre Woodson might be out the door here. I don't know who's, like, slamming the table for Andre Woodson to stay after this. Dropping it to Reggie Bush. If there's some random luck. No, he's got it. That's ball game. Andre Woodson, can we shop him out this season, please? Because he's really just taking us out of playoffs here in this episode alone. That's got to be his record. Five interceptions. Darren McFadden, another great game. Almost 30 carries, 121 rushing yards, two touchdowns. And that's why he got hurt. He also got a receiving touchdown. Both of our running backs got receiving touchdowns. So I'm really happy with our running backs and our offensive line. It's just our quarterback. This is going to be an entire new team next year. I got to change a lot. Darren McFadden has confirmed with me that his injury is much more serious than was earlier thought. Tests revealed a broken hand. Broke his hand. Yeah, we got to place Darren McFadden on the IR for the rest of the season. There is no room for error. If we lose this game, I think we are out of playoffs. So we got to sign a running back. And I mean, Chris Johnson is chilling out here. Darren Sproles is too. Elusiveness for Darren Sproles is 92. Besides the speed, they're not really showing a lot of respect to Chris Johnson. Ball carrier vision, 55. But I'm going to happily sign Darren Sproles. So Darren Sproles is going to be our number two. Diedrich Webb at the top. Just because Diedrich Webb knows the, the plays. So here's the Pro Bowl voting. Mike Zazali is the number one quarterback on there. 90 overall in his rookie season. Dude's insane. We got Darren McFadden at the top. Number one for the AFC. This season he had 1,300 total rushing yards in 320 attempts, 15 touchdowns, only six fumbles. Debrick Shaw Ferguson, number one left tackle for the AFC. Peyton Manning is going down. Dallas Clark, too, I think is on this team. Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, we're in trouble today. Or are we? Oh, we're smacking Peyton Manning. Yes, that's it, baby. Nice play. He's full sending that. Oh, man, what a dot. Come on, defense. I think the only way we win this game is getting a lucky turnover because I don't think we're going to outscore them just straight up. Dude, their running back is wide open. Holy. Oh, you got to swat that. Come on, Darrell Revis. And get on these guys. Bruh. Bruh. So they're quickly up 7-0. Adam Vinatieri boots it through. So we're starting Diedrich Webb, but we might see some Darren Sproles this game. Oh my. Oh my. We might see Darren Sproles earlier than we expected to. <laughs> Little mini Darren Sproles. He's a really fun player. See how well he does without knowing the playbook. Good lord! The Colts are insane! Oh, we got a pick on our first zone blitz. That's a rookie, Sanric Reigns. 
Oh, that was a dot. Oh, Diedrich Webb with the moves. We got to change Darren Sproles' number, especially if he stays on the team next year. Oh, nice spin. Let's go, Darren Sproles. Gonna get the touchdown. Bob Sanders on his cheeks. The blocking has just been tremendous. You know, Darren Sproles, he's been good on these past couple ones. Give it to him again. Let him finish it off. Or not. Just let him die. Let him get wrecked. Oh, Darren Sproles, you're looking the wrong way. He's going to get there. Yes. Darren Sproles just signed to the team and he's already got a touchdown. Doesn't even need to learn the plays. He doesn't like it when I get hyped for him. Nobody. I'm just going to never get hyped for anybody ever again. I hate it here. Oh, he threw that up in the sky. Asking for his receivers to get knocked out. Oh, what a hit from Darrell Revis. And oh, buddy, still catches it. Oh my gosh, we're getting so close to these interceptions. Oh, weird camera angle. Well, that was a nice catch. Run all day. The block on the outside, that was beautiful. Keep the ball out of Andre Woodson's hands at all costs. Oh, took a nasty it's hit. A Fourth and one. Up a play like that. A real shame. <laughs> Why are you always so negative? I'm going for this. 31 blast, baby! If it works out, it's going to be a huge boost for me. We don't fail on fullback dives. What a call, coach. It just got enough. All right, we've been running a lot this drive. Now we're going to hit him with the play action. And they're ready for it. Or are they? Or are they? Roscoe Lester, welcome back, buddy. You were injured there for a while. I'm liking Darren Sproles. I think I might sign him this offseason. I'd use him way more than Leon Washington. Look at Darren Sproles, man. Running back by committee out here. God. <laughs> Did you hear the guy in the crowd screaming, what was that? Awful call. We almost got a touchdown. It was just, yeah, I don't know. You're an awful call. Yeah, I got to take the points. Weird camera angle. He got it. Booyah. Come on, defense. Oh, no. They might be getting a field goal now. They don't have any timeouts, though, so they got to spike it. And Peyton Manning is just trotting his way down. Oh, they're actually going to throw it. No way. They got a touchdown as time expired. Like this? Not gonna be back next oh, and that did you see that glitch? We've only thrown the ball four times with Andre, and that's the only reason we're still in this game. Defense kind of crumbled there at the end of the first half, but we'll see what we can do. Who's injured? Oh, we're sending that. Oh, what a catch. Okay, now we're making catches. Now Coles is just going off. He really wants a contract. Which he's probably not going to get because we can't afford it. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't have thrown it to him. So if we take the field goal now, we'll be down by eight points. We'll be a one-score game. I guess we got to do it. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to leave without points. Goal. Fourth and four. It could be inconsistent. The Colts are just going to keep scoring. Well, thankfully, he, he got it. I was going to be scared if he missed it. It would have been over if he missed it. Oh, it's right in front of you, Darrell Revis. Just reach out and grab it. We're blitzing six. Oh, yeah, tackle him. That's going to be fourth down. That might have been the worst decision I've ever seen in my entire life. Andre Woodson, this is why we do not throw the ball. <laughs> what the heck? I'm going for it again. My season is on the line. For the fullbacks. He got it again. Another pick. Whole drive is over because Andre Woodson throws well, another pick. An is it the call or is it the force pass? You tell me. Can't live with it, man. Can't live with these interceptions. Second one on the day for him. And he's throwing dots. Peyton Manning is throwing dots. <laughs> Tied in just butt naked over the middle. What are we doing? Nad check time. And he just runs it in. Wide open. The wheel route. Oh, we got a nice little throw off. Coles is having a big game. Oh, he got him in the end zone. That works too. First down. 
Got to get there. Got to get there. Good blocking. Darren Sproles, another touchdown. Yeah, he's getting signed. He's doing very well. So they got to go for two. I let the uh, coach call this one. Well, you got him. Somebody come at him. And it's blocked at the line. So it's going to be a nine-point game. Very awkward. Two-score game now. I mean, if I would have called it, I probably would have took the field goal here and tried to go for the two the next time. But, yeah, it might be time for onside time. There's plenty of time, sure. But we're down by two scores. We need to be aggressive. Our season is on the line right now. Never gotten an onside kick in this game, but that one's flying. Their offensive lineman snags it out of the sky. Unbelievable. I mean, look at that guy. That looks like a meme character. 69. Okay. First play they score. Our defensive coordinator kind of sucks, too. His play calling has been questionable at best. Time for a check down. Check down is a terrifying play, but sometimes it gets big yardage. Oh, Roscoe Lester with a snag the check down works sometimes, boys. Great play. Okay, all the thing said was what a play. I got hyped for it and everyone's like, boo hoo, shut up head coach. Like, how are you supposed to read these people? Give me a check down. Cross the middle. Diedrich Webb, look at him. Oh, off the tip, we got the touchdown. Roscoe Lester is there. How about that? The check down got open. I'm calm. I'm calm. And he hates it. Dude, none of this makes sense. Coordinator's calling this one again. He said, run it up the gut. We've got the blocking. We've got it. Okay. Eight point game again. Where we were just a little bit ago. But I, whatever. I'm doing it. I'm full sending it. Because we don't know if we're going to get the two point conversion or not. These offensive linemen snagging it is just out of this world to me. Pick that off. Oh, nice hit. Oh, you had a chance at it, Chris Gamble. You could have had a pick six, too. That would have been amazing. Give me a stop here on third down. They're going to run it. You got to tackle him. Push him out of bounds. Save the clock, too. They're going to punt it. Hey, that's that's dandy. Okay, they're all running man deep. So this might not work. Oh, we got Dejic Reb across the middle. Dude, oh, my God. Of all the people that were open on that play, he chooses to throw it directly at the safety. Dude, what did the miscommunication? What a snag from Tony Gonzalez. Oh my. To the left, maybe. Oh, nice. Actually worked out okay. He's unblocked. Oh, but he sheds the tackle. Look at Darren Sproles go. He's given a ton of effort today. That's a nice play. Give him that room. Go, go, go. So close. This play has worked on two fourth downs in this game. Can it work down? Can it work on third and goal on the one? He got it. Yes. Right. Oh, maybe I should have run it up the gut. I don't know. I'm going to commit to it, though. Just need the blocks from everybody. This is very critical. Only two minutes left in this game. He's not going to get it. Sad. Who called timeout? But who called timeout after a two-point conversion? Third onside kick of the game, and we don't get it. <laughs> Darren Sproles tackling him. We only have two timeouts to do it, too, because of the freaking offensive coordinator called a timeout. That was a good stop, though. We're getting great tackles, though. Nice, nice. This would be an insane comeback, by the way. There is a flag. Is it on us or them? Because that's down at the one. That is scary. Oh, no. We are at the one-yard line. We got to go 99 yards in a minute. Okay, Andre, I need you to clutch the hell up right now. This would be the most ridiculous comeback. But if we can do it, we're in the playoffs. Maybe. He stepped out the back. That's a safety. You're fired. All of you. He just... Okay, Andre, you're shipped out of here for that play alone. You just Dan Orvlosky did. You Dan Orvlosky did in the most critical game of the year. Holy crap. Never in my life. I don't even look at me. You are so gone. 
There is no way anyone could ever convince me to keep you after that one. I am sorry. That was bad. That's not even bad. That's terrible. That's so terrible. It's it's just awful. That's so awful. It's disgraceful. That is oh oh. I am fuming. That is the biggest Drewski of all time. I think that's got to take the cake. Andre Woodson solid, is a freaking meme now. That's the whole season. Down the toilet. Andre Wood... I can't even look at you ever again. Darren Sproles, you're you're being re-signed. You were fantastic today. Uh, Coles was good today. Roscoe Lester had some big catches. Even one off the tip there. Just to come back and lose like that. This is just pain. Sandrick Rain's got a nice pick today. Oh my gosh. Will I even keep my job? Eight and eight. Oh... Failure to complete the goal. The owner went down by 25. Everything was riding on that game. So now the owner went down by a ton. Goal completed. You finished in the top 10. Okay, the media likes me. We did not have a top defense. Nowhere even close. Dude, I don't even care. Like, Andre Woodson could be 99 maxed out next season. And he's still gone. I just... There's no way. There's no way this fan base would want to keep him after that. Contract? Yeah, we are signing Darren Sproles. And he wants, like, no money too. So this is even better. Just barely. Like, if we would have won that game, we'd be in there right now. Mike Zazali wins MVP. Deserves it. Dude was insane. We'll check out all the stats here in a second. Offensive player of the year, Mike Anderson. 74 overall. 35 years old. All right, lads. Here we are at the end of the season. We have... Dude, Adam Schefter, shut up. I do not want to hear it right now. The owner actually wants me to stay. I was a little bit worried that my, like, I'd be fired after that. But my approval's high enough. And of course, I want to stay with the team. I, I'm I'm not going to leave the team until I raise that Lombardi. So Andre Woodson finished with 26 interceptions this season. More than he had touchdowns. He had almost 4,000 passing yards. Darren McFadden was excellent. Almost 1,400 rushing yards. 15 rushing touchdowns. He is the guy on our team. Like, our running game is the lifeblood of our team, basically. Roscoe Lester, led us in receiving touchdowns this season. Kotri, led us in receiving yards and receptions. He's coming back next year. Coles is going to be shipped off. It's time to reevaluate a ton of people on this team. Once again, get this video to 10,000 likes, and I will upload another episode of this series. And the next one would be the off-season one, which is the most fun part. So please leave this... So please leave a like on the video if you want to see it again. Really disappointing into the season, but hey, we can rebuild our team. We can probably make it run very soon. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.